setting up a P1 car is a challenge. Um, they are quite big cars in physical terms. They're four and a half meters long, 4.6 meters long, two meters wide. They have an awful lot of aerodynamic uh, downforce on them, which has to be controlled for the ground. If you don't have your aerodynamics correct, nothing else is gonna work. So that's the first thing we do. We get our ride heights correct so that we don't hit the ground too hard. There's so many different things you can do with aero. You can shift the balance forward, you can shift it backwards, you can add downforce to the front, add downforce to the rear. And we're constantly changing the car, trying to find the best uh, balance. For someone like Road Atlanta, say, where you've got long straights, you need to have a car that's obviously fast in a straight line, which means you want to run as little downforce or aero as possible, which creates drag. So you, you kind of get the balance. You, that, that equals grip, but also it, all, it equals drag in a straight line. So. Is you're always trying to balance where you can have, it, have as little downforce as possible, but as much mechanical grip in the corners. You have to have a car that's um, flexible, you know, that basically you know, isn't on a knife edge. Um, it can go around the outside of somebody. You can get on the brakes quickly if you need to, and the car won't swap ends. Especially in, in, in our type of racing, you know, where you, you, you aren't driving the same line every lap. Um, you know, you're going to be coming up on, you know, you could be racing someone who's, who's absolutely in your category and you're going head to head. Um, and then you can come up on somebody who's just in the middle of the road. And you've got to have a car that can cope with both situations well. When you're setting a car up, the big mistake is to change too much. You've really got to be a nitpicking pain in the arse and just a fraction here and a fraction there. Otherwise, you just get the balance swinging from one way to the other and you'll never get the car set up. You've got to figure out what the fastest lap would be and which corners can you give a little to be faster in a, in a faster corner. And some tracks always have one's place you have to just say, the driver's just going to have to get it through there on, on his talent. You know, I can, I can only get the car so good for that corner and have the car mega in this corner. You know, I can't quite get it mega in both, but which one's gonna give us the fastest lap time? Uh, the rule of thumb is that the place you're gonna make up or lose the most time on any track is the slowest corner, always, because you spend the most time in it. So that's, that's always gonna, so you tend to wanna lean toward getting your mechanical grip as good as possible. You know, the, and, and there's so many kind of rules of thumb which work within a range, but there's always the, you know, this is, this is what you do for this thing until you don't. You know, so it, it, it's, it's, never, it's never a simple, well, you know, the car's oversteering, so I'm going to soften the rear sway bar. Because, you know, if you just do that and, and say, well, that's what's going to make it great for the race, you know, you, you go out in the race and, oh, well, actually, this is the one time where that, that doesn't work. You've got several counter opposing uh, limitations. You're, you're quite over constrained, really, as an engineer sometimes, that you've got to tick all these boxes uh, to the tyre satisfaction and that's the key is the tyre because ultimately the tyre is the only bit of the car that's in contact with the road more often than not and you've got to keep those tyres happy with good contact patch area and, and load uh, variation to a minimum and that sort of thing so it's all damping and springs and all that kind of thing bump rubbers so it's a myriad of different contravening requirements if you like it's a balancing act you know, between aero, mechanical grip, driver feel. You know, you have to kind of, I think, bring that variety of factors to play and, you know, that's how you come up with a setup. Um, and, you know, thankfully we've got great technicians who every weekend are giving us cars, you know, that we go out with and they're fast right off the truck.